um, common manner in this case, and you'll see quite a lot of this today. So this is an early introduction. I'll probably talk about it a little bit more as we're going round. But um, if everyone would like to give it a little try, probably just we split a flower into a couple of pieces, pass that round. Again, very sort of like nice sort of neutral flavour. Tiny bit sweet, quite fleshy. I'm just picking off the. Uh, Calyx, the little green bit at the back there, which is just the... In fact, if people want to get in and pick their own, that one's the thing, sorry, that one. Mmm, <laughs> so, this is an excellent plant that grows throughout Europe and the Middle East as well. Um, and we'll see at least two varieties of this today that have different growth forms. Um, it's a fantastic plant. Flowers and leaves are edible. So that's another important thing actually to cover. In some plants, only some parts of it are edible. It's an important thing to be aware of. Most of the ones that I'm covering at the moment, the whole plant is edible. So, uh, yeah, so the leaves are excellent as a sort of spinach substitute. They can be fried in uh, light oil um, to create really lovely crisps fluff up a tiny little bit, they are quite crispy, so that's really good. Um, they're excellent thickener in soups and stews and things like that, mucilaginous, um, which is one of their herbal properties as well. They're very good um, at helping to protect the mucus layer in the body. Um, so very good for your organs and such if you're feeling run down. Um, the flowers are just lovely in salads, generally, really good. Um, as light snacks and very lovely decoration. So like I said, we'll see at least one other form of that later on, the tree mallow, which as you might guess by its name, is substantially more sizable. 